gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I slipped on my skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no baby, very bad dad. That was very weak, kids. I sure hope you can yell louder than that. <laughs> At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray heart kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the car, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being mushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be hard sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no I'm starting to be able to hear you. Thank you, God. At school, at school, Mrs. Dickens, like Paul's picture, of the sailboat, better than my picture of the invisible castle. <laughs> At singing time, she said, I was too, sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. <laughs> Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. <laughs> he said that Philip Parker was his best friend, and that Alvin Moyo was his next best friend, <laughs> and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a sack, I said to Paul. I hope that next time you get a double decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes, two, in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Alvin got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put it on the dessert? It was a... to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found the cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. And next week I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a cry baby and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. <laughs> well, we picked up my dad at the office. He said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, 
but I think I call Australia. <laughs> My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. I'm having a... Yeah! No! and I hate liners. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot, I got soap in my eye, my marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. Are they ugly or what? I hate my railroad train <laughs> When I went to bed, Nick took back the pill and we said, I could keep in the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned up my bit my tongue. Our cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible. My mom said, some days are like that, even in Australia. Thank you, God.